Um, as kids, you're most easily influenced, and you know when when you see uh, your school, you know the school that you've been going to since you were little, and where you've grown and met families, and you know met, made relationships with people, and you see that being destroyed by money and greed and power, and bigger beats smaller, and you know people started moving away from Delaplane, you know moving their kids from Delaplane just because they heard rumors like. You know, well, it's not going to be here next year anyway. I mean, before it was even a done deal. And that, you know, it's as a kid, it's hard to hear. You know, like there's no hope. And it, it's it's pretty tough. You know, the gym that we used to cheer in and play in and so many memories had been made in, like sock hops and just, you know, assemblies and, and homecoming skits. And this place where so much joy was happening is now being used as a tractor shed. And is now being, you know, it could be used for the good of the community, but it's not. It's being used for storage, and it's slowly rotting away. Like, if you drive by the school now, you know, the playground, all grown up, not taken care of. Uh, the field, all grown up, not taken care of. The buildings are falling apart. And, you know, as, you know, as go, I mean, I went there for three years, and seeing all of that being destroyed is just heartbreaking. I mean, once you take away a school, you don't only take away the school, I mean, you take away the community and the and the joy. Um, when, you know, we, we learned that Delphine might get shut down, uh, my parents formed the DCA, which is the Delphine Community Association, and they raised fundraisers. They did uh, pageants, and they did different events to try to raise money and to try to, you know, go, they went before the legislature and went before tech, and, I mean, they fought really hard, and, you know, everyone was involved in this. It was... You know, there, there's that little hope that was left, and everyone really tried, you know, tried to do what they could, can. And it, was, it was a hard effort, and it was hard, you know, sitting there, you know, as a kid and thinking, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do to save this. And, you know, you, you try, you know, you tell all your friends, hey, we're still going to keep in touch, but it just doesn't happen that way. And, you know, I remember uh, having to enroll in another school and having so much bitterness that, you know, well, this school isn't going to be what Delaplane was. I'm not going to have the family Delaplane was. Because when you shut down a small school, you don't only shut down a building. You shut down families and friends and relations with each other. You don't lose a building. You don't lose, you know, you don't just lose, like, like a noun, like something. You lose a whole family and you lose a whole community. Because once Delaplane shut down, you know, and people moved away. I had so many, you know, I could go over to my friends' houses after school. It was easy. Even even if you're in elementary, like, it has a big effect on you. Like, the whole school, like, you know, you, you'd see, you know, closing down of classrooms and they'd be taking chairs out. And, you know, as, as the school days wanted out and you knew your days were numbered. And it was really hard. I remember um, they took a TV out into the elementary lobby. And they made a DVD about, you know, all of Del, like, with a bunch of pictures of Del playing and a bunch of the students. And there you had a little slideshow on a DVD. And I remember all the older elementary kids went and sat in the lobby. And uh, we went and we sat together and we all sat in little rows, you know, with our class. And me and uh, one of my friends sat together. And I remember just holding each other crying because we knew that, you know, we'd never be coming back. And there there'd be no way, you know, that we could do anything or 